Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my bedroom on this day where I am catching up with everything and that includes Black Sails Season 2, Episode 9. This is the penultimate episode. Flint, Miranda, girl have reached Charlestown. Vane is already there waiting in the reeds to take over the ship. Flint's ship. That's it. That's where we are. <laughs> That's where we are. I, okay. Okay. So I'm, I'm ready to just dive right into it because that's just crazy pants and I can't wait to see what happens. So thank you so much for joining me while we get situated. You're going to remember you can watch this full unedited episode reaction on Patreon where I'm also watching exclusively Resident Alien and I just started the last season of Great British Baking Show. I would love to see you there. I've got my water and I'm drinking a cranberry lime whiskey because why not? It sounds refreshing and my bangs are doing something weird. So let's ignore them and uh, let's just get to it. Welcome to Charles. Charles, Charles. Lord Ash has looked like he's had a time of it. Well, yeah, <laughs> he did receive a ransom note about his daughter. That would put some lines on your face. <laughs> Mr. Guthrie, I was like, who are we preparing for burial? Burial, Mr. Guthrie, that's right. I can't say enough, miss, how sad and we all are by this loss. I'll always be grateful for that. How grateful. Are they coming to repay their respects to her or are they just going to go view her father? <gasps> and Max shows up. I can imagine how difficult this must be. I would think that at least with me, you would know that I know the truth about how complicated this situation is for you. Ooh. And that that might bring some small measure of comfort. There is no part of this that is complicated. That is what happens in a war. A war? A state of affairs in which resolution only comes when one side has suffered enough pain that is willing to concede its principles. I presume you've heard Charles's manifesto. Mm-hmm. That has been read aloud on the beach. Wow. So he had more than one copy? Because I can't imagine Eleanor just giving it to be passed around and read. Those people out there heard him. And they came to my door not to pay their respects. They're poking her. They're testing her. But because when this war begins, they want to make sure I don't mistake them for enemies. Is that why you've come? Or have you yet to choose a side? Yes. How did that go? About as well as I think I expected. We have seen what she can destroy when she is angered. Which of the two was she just now? She was something else entirely. Just finalizing the route, sorting out supplies. I assumed we'd depart tomorrow at some point. Leave as soon as possible. Uh-huh. Oh, I think this is the tidiest we have seen Eleanor's hair, which could be a sign she is about to unleash hell. Do you know why you're here? Yes, ma'am. Good. He's left in shadows. Then we move. It's sundown. These two fellas I do not recognize. The proposal that I have come all this way to make is one that may at first strike you as implausible. James has no idea what has happened in Nassau. Were it not for that gratitude, you and I would not be speaking like this. Mm -hmm. You and Colonel Rhett would be having a very different conversation. Because while I knew you once, I cannot fathom how those people I knew turned into you. Ask me that. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to know, I will be truthful. Why is, I found it interesting that Colonel Rhett, or whoever, Mr. Rhett, is in the room at this time. Two months after we saw you last in London. February, thereabouts. You became the captain of a pirate crew in four months. I became the captain of a pirate crew faster than that. How did you manage that so quickly? I met a man in a tavern, quartermaster of a well-respected crew. I persuaded him that I was someone worth listening to. 
a crew followed shortly thereafter. And how long after that was it that you decided to murder Alfred Hamilton? Before I left town is what I was going to think. I received a letter. I encouraged James to find him and to kill him. If you're going to blame anyone for it, please blame me. Please, sir. Please. The governor may know who you are. I only know what you are. Let us agree that if either one of you gets any closer to the governor than you just did, I will be forced to consider that a threat to his person, and I will shoot you where you stand. He doesn't look trustworthy to me. Just me personally. I get a vibe. But I ask you not to judge me by that one deed. Judge me by the ends that I have come here in service of. All the other people I, I killed. Foot rope. Bitch of a spot. Fucking death trap if it isn't fixed before we set sail. Let's try this again. You idiots are the fucking riggers of this ship. So which of you would like to volunteer to repair our top sail yard foot rope? It's a bad on A man died on them ropes. Can't touch it till it's fixed. And you can't fix it till it's been touched. Billy's gonna go up there himself. Tell me something. And he'll will he see notice something? Mm-hmm. What would he find? Mm -hmm. An indication that the rope didn't just fray on its own? Mm-hmm. No. Absolutely not. It'd be almost impossible. Almost. Well, <laughs> I'll go up and help you, sir. What is it? I thought I saw something. I'm sure it was nothing. Tell them anyway. Mr. Underhill. All his wealth. All his ambitions. Yet, here he rests. Mm hmm. One might see a lesson in that. Well, she's not. <laughs> She's going to see a different lesson. This is what you're suggesting. A return to colonial rule with an existing power structure in place. I don't see how anymore. And I am to believe that 500 hardened pirate raiders will voluntarily step down. A lot of them. Most of them. Enough to resist those that won't. The first thing that they will ask for is a name. New Providence will only ever succeed in so far as its governor can make it so. Were I to make this case to the men I know in Whitehall, the first question that they will ask is, who will oversee all of this? Whose clock is this? You? There are things that I can do to help protect the fledgling colony. But beyond that, I don't think that there's a part for Captain Flint in Nassau's future. Not with the blood on his hands. What about James McGraw? He will have to go away and leave James McGraw and Lady Hamilton to retire to the interior in peace. He's twitchy. Something wrong? Nerves. I'm fine. Mm-mm-mm. That's it. Just play some music to <laughs> cover the sound of the guys climbing up the side of the ship. We so worried he's gonna find something up there. What are we still doing here? Billy's still up there. If he was suspicious, he'd have come down by now. I'm going to find Randall. See how I can ridicule for the crew's amusement. <laughs> Whoa! He told this guy that <laughs> that plan. He's dead. He's dead. Do you have anything new for me, by the way, of gossip now? He's dead. Be the, uh... Who's coming out of the shadows? <gasps> Wait. Billy 
he's up there. What does he see? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. More than danger. I can't tell who's who and who in the dark. Uh. <gasps> Billy's down there. We can't lose Billy already. <sighs> Wait. The kill! They let him live. They let him live. You said Captain Flint would have to disappear for this plan to work. Are you truly ready to let him go? Did I ever tell you where that name came from? I haven't heard it. I told you of my grandfather who raised me. Fisherman in Pathstow. In his youth, he was a deckhand on a privateer off the coast of Massachusetts. One night, he was at anchor in the Boston Harbor when he sees this man climbing out of the water and onto his ship. Man said that he'd fled his fishing trawler, accused of killing another man. And when asked his name, man simply replied, Mr. Flint. Eventually, he asked my grandfather for a little more rum from below. My grandfather went off to fetch it, but when he returned, man was gone. It was as if the sea had conjured that man out of nothing and then taken him back for some unknowable purpose. When I first met Mr. Gates and he asked me my name, I feared the man I was about to create. And I was determined only to wear him for a while and then dispose of him when his purpose was complete. And I thought of that story. Every day I've worn that name, I've hated him a little more. James. I think whatever she's gonna say is gonna make him keep the name for a while, a bit longer. Where's Mr. What's his name? It's not Smith, but Eleanor's old Scott, Mr. Scott. Where's Mr. Scott? The moment the ship is clear of the area, if not sooner, Captain Bain will put the crew to the sword, yes? So either we swim to the beach and likely face the nerves, or else do nothing, in which case it's the sword. Hmm. <laughs> Unless John finds some way to take the ship back. Going. To execute the third option. So we kept in vain to surrender the ship. Ah? Uh? Plans are underway as we speak. When he arrives, I propose that you and I greet him together. For so many years, I have watched you and your kind. Your kind. How could I be expected to trust one of you? How could you trust a pirate? I am no pirate, sir. I am an Englishwoman, and I will be the end of piracy in this place, and it begins tonight. What do you mean? I discovered a plan by one of the crews on the beach to reclaim a prize that is so large it would upset our world here. Emboldened piracy for years, possibly decades to come. I identified the members of that crew with the specific knowledge of the whereabouts of that prize, and I have ended their endeavor before it began. How did she end their endeavor? No. <gasps> wow, she didn't even like plan to ask Jack like, hey, no, but just straight out and work his crew. <gasps> What's Anne up to? I shouldn't have left the way I did. It wasn't your fault what happened. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! 
So it's Jack and, and Mr. Mr. Quartermaster, the last two that were on the ship to die? I know there are many reasons to say no to this home. Colonel Rhett. <laughs> I'd like everyone to clear the room. Who? Who else is in the room besides then? Okay, I see another guy. I'm like, just you? Oh. Well, she took that to mean herself as well. Is her name Ashley? Abigail? Abigail. Let's be frank now. I believe there is a way that I can help you achieve your intentions for the future of NASA. However, my plan will require an act of you, Mr. McGraw. You have to die. He has to die. And I don't think you're going to like it. He's gonna have to die. Are you hurt? Mostly unscathed, thanks to Anne. Oh, he survived, he survived. Eleanor would be returning from the interior sooner than later. Can you sail without those men? Do they know where they're going? One last hug. Kiss on the cheek. Anything? You're going with? She going with? Daylight. Come on, Aunt. <laughs> Wait. You certain this is a good idea? Yes. We said for the first day the ship can't sail till it's repaired, which could take hours, yes? Oh. It remains in this harbor, the more dangerous it is for him. And the more likely it is that Captain Flynn might just win over the governor. So that's what he meant by convince him? Booby trap the ship is way better idea than talk as a man up front. <laughs> are you suggesting we do this to save ourselves or are you suggesting we do it to save the crew oh themselves totally him totally himself oh that's a big rope to saw through oh so billy's in the office okay Captain's quarters, I should say. The office. You're the bosun. Mr. Gates' boy, aren't you? Obviously. I've got a confession to make. When Jack and I attempted to alter the vote on your ship, see Flint deposed. It was intended to induce key men on your crew to defect, then to recruit them ourselves. But most specifically, it was with an eye toward recruiting you. Oh, good God. <sighs> a proper pirate. Committed to our way of things. Committed hmm. to a life free of the yoke. Fuck you. <laughs> and loyal to a fault. <laughs> you can see how that is a man we'd have wanted on our side of things. Ooh, thoughts. I have thoughts. A man I could still use now. Can I squeeze them in without missing anything? Billy doesn't want any part of the British Empire. Flynn stole from me and I'm making it right. Vane exactly. also does not want anything part you hate of the British Empire. I hate Flynn. But right now he's talking about how we survive what comes next. And you're talking about what you think is yours. When the Navy arrives, they aren't going belongs to you or what belongs to me because to them there is no difference between you and me he has you so afraid of an imagined threat <sighs> the garrison on harbor island royal marines a full company of them there is nothing imagined about the threat we all face i assure you right now flint's plan is the only plan 
Well, that is something that's gonna need repair. If we are to persuade them to ally with you, then we have to completely redefine their understanding of who you are, what you are. As you and I will sail to London together, and when we arrive, you will stand up and you will tell your story. Beginning to end, A to Z, every bloody detail. What part of my story? All of it. The Thomas part of it? You will tell them about the affair with Thomas. You will explain to them what it drove you to do. And when you do, Captain Flint will be unmasked, the monster slain, a man that England can relate to and offer its forgiveness. Well, you have the whole boat ride to Nassau and the whole boat ride to London to think about this. Come up with alternative plans. See how it fits. What you're asking of me. It's a crime. Well, <laughs> one of many he has committed. But Miranda knows something. Miranda knows something. What does she know? Your clock by the wall. Where did you obtain it? Now she talks. Now she talks. It looks very much like one that used to reside in my husband's parlor in London. It was a gift. From whom? From who? Alfred Hamilton. From Alfred Hamilton. In exchange for... Mm-hmm. Yet he grants you gifts from his own home. Why would he do that? All these years, it never sat right with me how Alfred was able to turn the Navy against James. He was far too admired by his superiors for his career to be dashed by solely on hearsay. Alfred came to you, didn't he? Asked you to betray Thomas in exchange for which he'd see you made a king in the new world? Perhaps this is an opportunity for us all to find a little forgiveness. What forgiveness are you entitled to while you stand back in the shadows? Tell me, sir, when does the truth about your sins come to light? You know nothing of my sins. Oh, she knows one. Were you there when Alfred Hamilton threatened my family's standing, my daughter's future? Ah. Uh, uh. When I visited Thomas at the hospital to confess my sins and heard him offer his full and true forgiveness, he went to see Thomas at the hospital. Oh, he's twitching. He's twitching. He's twitching. The most important thing is what comes next. What we make of this. You destroyed our lives. Miranda, I'm trying to help you. What you. more do you want what from do me? I want? I want to see this whole goddamn city, this city that you purchased with our misery. Burn. Oh, this is... This is the Miranda that said, Go slay Hamilton. And I want to pull the fucking Leo with my own two <gasps> This is not what I wanted. Do not shoot him. Don't shoot! Well, the plan didn't go as we thought, what is Eleanor. This? Who are you? Honey <gasps> calls. And I suggest you step aside, sir. We've no quarrel with you. However, we will be taking the girl. To do what? <laughs> 
Is this red? Red? Is this red approaching? Hello. Nick, that was slick. Hello. What follows is a message from the Lord Governor of the Carolina Colony. I trust to the good faith of your arrival, and I accepted Captain Flint as my guest in the same spirit. Oh. But I now regret to inform you that he has violated that trust in a most deceitful manner. This trial and its resulting sentence will be swift, just, and final. At the conclusion of this trial, if your ship remains, I will seize our sinker. Oh, jeez. Let me tell you what happens next. I think this is Rhett talking and not Ash. They need Flint. Because they can't, they can't sail away. NASA is strongest when she's feared. And if what promises to happen here tomorrow actually happens, a trophy made of one of her most notorious captains, she may never be feared again. So they gotta see Flint! I suggest we get him the hell out of there. And then what, though? <gasps> I understand you hold in your possession ten pardons for whomever was to deliver you, Captain James Flint. Oh, no. I wonder if I can't do better. Imagine, sir, how London would react to the arrival of the Queen of Thieves. I wouldn't pick it up. Did they actually let them live? I don't know about that. The, oh, the way alliances change sides on this show is crazy. But they lay it out in such a way that it makes sense. That's like, oh, because none of their goals directly overlap, but they overlap just enough that to get to here, okay, I got to agree with you on this, but I'm going to zig here. But okay, fine, I'm going to zag there. Oh, but look, we're overlapping again. I'm shocked at this point, but we only saw two seconds of the Navy leaving Dufresne and, and Horn of Gold behind I would think they would just wait and then take them, shoot them all down. I guess, so Vane talking to Billy about saying that, Billy, you're somebody we wanted to recruit. Intriguing. You seem to be the embodiment of the pirate way of life. And here's Billy still in his way, in his way, still embodying the pirate way of life. It's great. I saw Eleanor's plan. Maybe it wasn't grand enough. It seems you need to not just take out the men. You need to take out the boats, too. They can just get. Apparently, these boats are just really easy to get upon. <laughs> I don't think in any way you can reconcile Nassau with England. They're not. No, this is an island of men and women who have been burned by England so many times. No way. No way, no way. You're, you're, and it could be, it could be the beverage talking. But it seems as if you're just asking for a truce and hoping that England sticks to their bargain and lets them rule themselves, which is never, was never. So this whole plan, this whole plan just always seemed way too precarious, way too precarious. I think I like Flint's original plan. Get a bunch of money, stand firm, and just use your money to fight for you. That was the, was that the plan? I think that was the plan originally. If things have flip-flopped so much, I don't know anymore. But Eleanor is being taken away by the Navy. Nobody's around to protect her. 
I don't think Ash is ruling the show. I think Rhett is ruling the show. Miranda is dead. Miranda is dead. And now Vane is going to take a prize. He's not rescuing Flint. He's going to take Ash's prize from him. That's all that's happening. Once they've taken Flint, who knows what's going to happen to Flint. So we have the season two finale coming up. Where? Oh, this year, this year, this year, this season has taken some turns. Mm -hmm. But I do want you with me there for that adventure. So please remember, if you haven't already, hit subscribe, hit a like, drop a line. That does help out the channel oh so much because I have been enjoying this season with you all watching this with you. It makes it so much. So until the next time, we are going to hydrate. I'm going to sober up a little, stretch our bodies. And then we're going to come back and watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, y'all. And until next time.